But back then, Leanne Walters didn't think it was that big of a deal. They just bought the house. Someone had stripped all the plumbing. So we had to redo all the plumbing. And we installed that the whole house filter. So I'm like, yeah, it sucks. And I'm like, but, you know, we've got this filter, so we should be good. Every drop of water that comes into her home goes through this filter. But a few weeks after the switch, Walters noticed something was weird. She had just set up the swimming pool in the side yard for the summer. Gavin started breaking out every time he'd get in the pool. The rash was bad enough that Walters took him to the doctor. And the doctors kept telling us it was contact dermatitis. He's coming into contact with something he's allergic to. Later, Walters says her doctor suggested it was eczema. They gave her a cortisone cream to rub on Gavin's rash. But by July, it wasn't just Gavin. His twin brother, Garrett, got the rash, too. And we took him in, and they told us it was scabies, so we treated them with that pesticide. Tiny mites cause scabies. And yes, the common treatment is a chemical that's also in some pesticides, even mosquito nets and flea collars. Walters rubbed the prescription cream on her twin boys from the neck down. And I mean, I spent a ton of money because... All the laundry that we had, all the bedding that we had, um, we took it to a laundromat. Walters was relieved when the boy's rash went away, but that feeling didn't last long. Walters remembers the day the rash came back because she had a bunch of people over to celebrate her daughter's high school graduation. And all the people that were here swimming and drinking the water, all of them broke out. She scheduled another doctor's appointment for her four-year-olds. Same diagnosis. But Walters really had some doubts about the scabies diagnosis, especially after the party. The third time they tried to convince us that it was scabies, I said, "Uh uh-uh, no. The cream wasn't working on Gavin, period. He had that rash for more than a month straight. Walters wasn't standing for it anymore. So she took Gavin to a dermatologist down in Brighton. They scraped in between Gavin's little toes, put it under the microscope. And she verified by doing the skin scrapes there was no scabies. There was no live anything, no dead anything, no eggs. So no scabies. But she still didn't know what caused the rash. But then Walters noticed something. Gavin's rash flared up every time he swam in the pool and every time he took a bath. Something clicked. It became clear to her right then that Gavin's rash was caused by something in the tap water. By 